Hard in a clipper though, you know? That's be boring. Different. You gotta be Plays classy. Exactly. The, I mean, who am I? It's not classy enough. Right. The gentleman's pirate. I sent you a ring request. <laughs> Let's see, so if I go for my orca. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, it's even order. got it's even got two restricted racks. So if you did a full combat build, you'd still have ninety-six tons of cargo. That you just can't get. How much get cargo? Ninety-six tons. Oh, that's not bad at all, man. Oh yeah. Okay. I've got Navlock on you. You're in Super Cruise. Go ahead and um, go ahead and drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. hmm. I do not see you. Oh, do you have your wing beacon on? Uh, well, maybe not. Sorry, man. I'm. I've, this is the first time I've actually linked up with anyone. Don't. Don't worry. We get a lot of that. Explorers aren't known for being overly social. <laughs> so, what do I got to turn on? Um, go to the right panel, under functions, okay. find beacon, okay. and set it to wing. Gotcha. There we are. Okay. Should be good to go. Ninety-four K away. And can you open your um, galaxy map and look at the Macau system and plot a course to the station so that after the jump you'll have it highlighted? There we go. Sure thing. Oh, that's a grody looking asp. I like it. <laughs> It's stock, but I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of it. Of the asp? Of the, just, just the, like, I know everyone likes the cockpit, but, uh, it just feels like I'm so exposed. I mean, that's the beauty of it, right? I, I know that's the beauty, I know, but, uh, oh, dude, your ship is, what are you talking about my ship? Your ship, bro. <laughs> Oh. You uh, you should oh. check out the DBX. The DBX is fun. Yeah, that's it. What might I was feel a bit more uh, secure. I like the cockpit in it from the videos I've watched. No, just in VR. Like I feel like I'm just out here. I'm cold, man. I've never played in VR. I could I could see that. I love the ass, but it might be a different experience. Okay, so this is essentially going to be the same as at our final destination. I'm going to jump and clear the system. Once I clear it, you're going to jump and head for the station as fast as possible. Uh, once you get to that station, you'll drop in um, and then wait while I make sure the station is clear. And then you'll dock and get some shields. Okay, so you're just cutting out there a little bit. When uh, after uh, I wake in into Macau, you want me to drop into real space and you clear the station? So. You're going to jump to Macau and super cruise to okay. the station as fast as possible. Okay. Um, do you know how to use Navlock? Uh, unsure on that, no. Okay. Um, if you go up to where you accept a wing invite, like multi crew and stuff, and you select okay. me, you yep. can turn wingman Navlock on and off. Okay. So you want to have it off for now. Okay, I believe it is off right now. Cool. And you, um, once you're in that system super cruising, you can enable nav lock on me. So that means you don't have to slow down for the station. You can just zoom towards it as fast as possible. And then okay. when you get near me, uh, it'll lock on my nav position and draw you in. Okay, so it'll drop me into real space. With me. Automatically. Okay. Yeah. And you'll have to turn it off before you dock at the station, because there's a bug where if you don't turn it off, then the station is unhappy. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go jump and clear the system, since nobody seems to be here. 
Sounds good, man. Oh man, you even got red thrusters and oh dude. Frontier took my money. They took all my money. <laughs> okay, Turner docks seven hundred light seconds away. Um It looks like the system's pretty clear, so let's let's not bother with the nav lock thing. I'm not sure I want to risk that bug without shields, so just do a standard approach to Turner Dock. Uh, system is clear. You are good to jump. All right, charging flame drift drive. I'm jumping now. Cool. I didn't even have NPC contacts. You an ASP scout. Let's make sure he doesn't have an interdictor. Okay, coming into the system. I got eyes on you. I'm following you. Okay, uh, heading towards Turner Dock. If I see any NPC heading towards you, I'm going to interdict you first. Um, if that happens, just drop throttle and it'll pull us both out, and they probably won't be okay. able to follow us. Alright, sounds good. You're just following uh, the SOP you guys sent me? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I remember most of it, but it was like two weeks ago that I read it, so... No worries. I wrote a cheat sheet recently uh, to avoid that, but it hasn't been published yet, so... Okay. Hopefully next week we'll have that working. Because mm -hmm. it is like ten pages long, and you don't need hey, to know a lot of it. It's not that bad. <laughs> I found it fascinating to read. It's, it's really fun. I I think uh, what we'll do is we'll... Approaching sweet. Probably link both versions. Like, if you would like to read everything, here you go. Here's the one page version of what you actually need to know. <laughs> yeah. I could definitely see some people maybe being put off by that, but I thought it was nice to know. Yeah. second in closing. Cool. It's good to be back in civilized space. Just wait until the station controller talks to you. Don't freak out <laughs> too much. <laughs> All right, drop it into real space. Cool. I have eyes on you. Although you're 12 kilometers away somehow. Okay, go ahead and slowly approach. Remember, landing gear out, request docking at 7.5k. Looks like everybody here is clean. Thankfully, I don't see any other commanders. Okay. 
I'm going to go in first just to keep an eye on traffic. Okay, if you've requested docking and have landing gear down, you should be good to go. I don't see anybody taking off from the inside. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, entering the mail slot now. Oh, they even gave me a nice landing pad. All right at the front, hell yeah. Sweet. Slap some shields on the old bird. Sweet. Yay, shields. I'd go with the uh, biggest the station has, or you can afford, or you have room for. Yeah, I will do that. As long as you can power them. Okay, now where are we heading? Shinigami. Okay. Okay, Shinigami's not bad, it'll be seven jumps. you guys got? 4D is uh, better than 3D. Not sure. 6E might be better than 4D. Uh, uh, we'll rock 5D. Why not? Seems reasonable. That, that seems good. How much shields does that get you? Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, how how much shields does that get you? Uh, let's see here. Um, where do I even see that? Um, Are you still in outfitting? Yeah, sorry, I just exited. I didn't, I didn't check. Uh, just uh, select the shield and look in the lower left. It gives me... Uh, Even shoot, 166. I'll take it. Okay. So we want to launch and get out of here. I'm launching now. Okay. And you can go ahead and follow. Looks like stuff is clear. So you have not uh, winged up with people before, right? So you don't know how to target a wingman or target wingman's target? No. Cool. We can figure that out. You. What's your control scheme? Or what do you use to control the game? Uh, I use a Hotas. Which one? Uh, Thrustmaster. <laughs> the T flight. Uh, yeah, Thrustmaster X or something like that. T flight Thrustmaster okay. X, something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what that'll be. Um, why don't you get to a safe distance from the station? I don't know. I I actually had a T flight for like a year. I've now got the 16,000 or whatever the upgrade is. But um, I always use default key bindings. Let me try and find it. Big. 
this is a customized one that does not help. Mm, the sound of like a B29 passing by. So go to uh, options, controls, uh, targeting. Options, controls, and uh, targeting. And you want something okay. for select wingman one and select wingman's okay. target. And sorry, uh, is the other one other than Wingman one? Select Wingman's target. Select Wingman's target. Okay, awesome. Okay, we're all set up. So you should be able to select me with one button, and then select my target with the next button. Okay. Okay, so are you uh, targeting pole 285 sector uh, YB dot? Yeah, so our first jump um, will be 17.8 light years, call 285 sector Yankee Victor dash kilo, space Bravo 22 dash 3. Um, Alright, hard copy. Are you familiar with charge and hold? Yeah, uh, keep the throttle at zero, but charge your engine to spread. Yeah, so you go ahead and charge and hold. I'm going to actually jump. And once I clear the system, you can engage. I'm jumping. System is clear, no nav beacon, no contacts, you are good to jump. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, entering system. I have eyes on you. Next system is 19.1 light years. Hotel India Papa, space 109901. I see you have it copied. Go ahead and charge and hold. I'm going to jump. Yep. No nav beacon, no contact, system is clear, you're good to jump. Okay, entering system, got visual on you. I have eyes on you. Next system is Hotel India Papa, space 110340, 19.4 light years. I see you have it targeted. Go ahead and charge and hold. I'm jumping.
Our nav beacon, no contact. System is clear. You're good to jump. System, uh, got a visual on you. I got eyes on you. Next system is India Charlie Zulu, space Sierra Echo, TAC Quebec, space Bravo 5, TAC 3. I see you've copied it. You're good to charge and hold. I'm jumping. By the way, if you see any contact while you're charging and holding, just go ahead and engage immediately. But these are all systems with no government, so hopefully nothing will show up until the last one. That would be very nice. System has no nav beacon, no contacts. You are clear to jump. And let me know if you get any uh, messages from NPCs, although that's unlikely since you don't have cargo. Yeah, and nothing to plunder. Yeah. Alright, entering system, visual confirmed. I see you. Next system is India Charlie Zulu, space Papa Yankee, TAC Romeo, space Bravo 4, TAC 5, 20.6 light years. I see you have it copied. You are clear to charge and hold. I'm jumping. No nav beacon, no contacts, you're clear to jump. You all clear over there? Yeah. No nav beacon, no contacts, you're clear to jump. I have eyes on you. Next system is 18.1 light years, India Charlie Zulu, space Lima Sierra TAC Tango, space Bravo 3 TAC 3. I see you have it targeted. You're clear to charge and hold. I am jumping. I have no nav beacon, no contacts. You are clear to jump. All right, entering system, I can see it. Okay, next jump is final jump, so go ahead and drop to normal space for now, once you're a safe distance from the star. Okay. I'm dropping into real space. And I have you 47 kilometers away. Thanks, FDev. Um, okay, so... <laughs> You want to find Shinigami, 
go to system in the gal map go to system map and plot of course directly to where are we going andrew yola andrew yola yep. that is a weird map it's a uh, earth-like so orbiting an earth-like with a station in between each okay <laughs> <laughs> sure that's a thing um, you got a course plotted? I'm, I'm thinking of making home at this place, so... That's cool. You plotted uh, a course? Andrew Yola, I think. Yeah. Uh, hold on one sec. Andrew Yola. Yeah, okay. Uh, course is plotted. Okay. So this is going to be like that first jump we did, actually. I'm going to jump and clear the system. You're going to jump. As soon as you're in, you begin burning for station. Um... I'm going to scout out the station for you. Oh, did you... You're just charging and holding, right? You didn't jump? That's correct. Okay, cool. So, I'll jump now. Um, Copy that. In system, I got a mostly harmless type 9. Other than that, it looks like you're clear, so go ahead and jump. Engaging warp. I got eyes on you, following you to station. I just noticed the Void Stalker name. I approve of that. <laughs> I liked playing Void Stalker a lot in Dota 1. Roger. Oh shit, I might have not done that soon enough, I might overshoot. Gravity breaking. Oh, come on, you bitch. Oh. <laughs> Just the old uh, corkscrew doom. Oh yeah. I really like the Death Helix. It's fun. <laughs> I almost wonder if you pull it off well, if it's actually faster than crawling down. Oh, it is. The, the Death Helix, definitely. Um, there's some debate on whether the Death Helix or planetary braking is faster. And it's been kind of hard to tell. I think planetary braking is technically faster. Is that just where you loop around the gravity well of some of a body, or...? Yeah, so what you do is you... You drop into real space. Okay. You head towards the station until you've got five seconds left at full throttle. I see a wing signal. I am hopping into super cruise to attempt to get back to you. Um, and then when you hit five seconds, you cut to zero throttle and you skim by the nearest planet as closely as you can. And after that, you turn around and you head back towards the station. 
I still only see your wing signal. I see your ship. I have visual on you. Sweet. And um, then you skim by the planet a second time, and you try and get your ETA down to two to three seconds. Okay. And it's something like 20 to 30 seconds faster than a standard approach. Oh, really? Wow. I gotta, I'm going to try that. It's really fun. Um, buckyball racers use it all the time, and that's probably the main skill is how good are you at that because if you do it well it's really fast if you do it poorly you smash yeah. into the planet or not so much did you not repair your hull at the last station <laughs> Uh, sorry, you're gonna have to repeat that. You're breaking. Did you repair your hull at the last station? <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, God. I was like 97%. How did he lose 3%? We didn't see anything. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, make sure to enter the station so that just in case nobody can shoot you on the outside. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bruce. I really cool. appreciate it. I'm glad to be able to help. And glad we could finally schedule a time that worked for at least one person. <laughs> That's all you needed. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, uh, we didn't I see got, anything. I got to ask, because um, I was, I was uh, wondering if you guys took recruits, and uh, one of your members uh, pointed me towards your website there. Um, what is your policy on a uh, person who wants to be in light of the pirate? Uh, so most of our active members are PVPers, um, so yeah. that's that's fine. What you do on your own time, that's your business. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure there are at least several griefers who also escort explorers. Okay, all right. So yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, never shall the two meet. Right. Separate spheres and all, but uh, yeah, no, but it does seem like. Uh, pretty cool so i'd love to help people get back into the bubble sweet i think it's fun but yeah i think i think there's info on the website um in order to become one you need like two mock escorts and two mock combats uh the mock combats can be pretty stiff make sure you have your ship like engineered um i didn't win either of them but i did good enough uh Okay. It's not like you're fighting Rinsler yeah, or somebody, I've kind of but yet to break into engineering, which was probably a bad idea before deciding to go to Colonia. But uh... <laughs> did you do it all like thirty light years at a time? Wait, what was your jump range? Uh, I think I got it. Um, let me check here. Uh, let's see. I know I forget to see. Oh yeah, here it is. Thirty-two light years. So yeah, pretty paltry. Okay. Okay. Uh, it I'm takes. Maybe a little bit higher without the shield, but not by much. Yeah, it takes some time, but like I have an ASP that does 55, uh, DBX that does 60. I've heard that you can get anacondas up to 70, but I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard <laughs> some people like, I think it was like 60 light years or something like that, and I was like, God damn. Oh, yeah. 60 isn't that hard on a DBX. You need like one good roll. But I don't even know if you need, like, lightweight uh, sensors and life support to do that. Yeah, I mean, it would have been really helpful if I at least paid a visit to Felicity Farseer, but, uh, oh, well, live and learn. Yeah. You can also, I don't know, that would be interesting. You could see if you, they would do unmodded mock combats, but you'd still need an engineered ship for actual escorts. But it's yeah. a fun group. I would recommend applying if you're interested. For sure. Yeah, I might I might spend some time uh, getting all the engineers unlocked and what have you, and then uh, maybe visit you guys back. But uh, no, I mean, it was awesome. Great experience. I was a little nervous to contact you guys. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but it was fantastic. I'm glad. Um, so I recorded this. Are you okay with me just throwing it up on YouTube? Uh, yeah, man. Okay. By all means. Cool. Uh, so this is the end of the mission. Make sure to sell your data. Um, I should have a report up in the next day or two in that Discord channel, and you just say that it's accurate, and we'll close the channel, and that'll be it. Awesome. Thank you very much.
cool.